It's time for the Berardelli bonus. So the European model came out with its seasonal forecast, and here are the highlights from that. It's forecasting a hyperactive season. We've been telling you that was likely. In fact, its biggest forecast on record. I'm going to show you that in a chart in a couple of seconds. The accumulated cyclone energy, so how much energy is used up and expended by all the storms in the season? Well, they're forecasting twice the normal amount. And then lastly, unfortunately, the favored areas, the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, Florida, and also the Bahamas. So here's the reason. Forecasting a pretty aggressive La Nina with cool water in the Pacific Ocean, that means sinking air, but on our basin, much hotter than normal water, so a lot of rising air and the chance for big thunderstorms. So this is a look at all the forecasts that the European model has issued since the 1990s. And this blue line right here, right there, that's the forecast this year, which is the highest the blue line has gone. And then lastly, tropical storm density. So where are we expecting the most amount of tropical systems? Again, this is just the computer model, the European computer model, which is a good one. But unfortunately, forecasting enhanced activity in the Bahamas, Florida, the Gulf of Mexico, and also in the Caribbean. So we need to be prepared just in case. And it is hurricane preparedness week. And so all through the week, they remind you to know your evacuation zone and make a plan. You know where you're going to go if you do have to evacuate. You don't have to go to a hotel. You can go to a friend's house that's not in an evacuation zone. But just set that all up. And then get your supplies ready. You want your disaster kit, your insurance checkup, and strengthening your home. Yeah, of course, we don't know if we're going to need it. We hope we don't need it. But we want to be better safe than sorry, for sure. If you want to send me a weather question for the bonus, send it right there, weather at WFLA.com.